Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all your support. I send you love and positive energy every single day. I appreciate you all very much. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Don't ever try to make it make sense. Fridays are a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So plenty of variety. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius, please. Okay, so we will start here with the tarot, and then we're going to have the angel answers. You've got the Knight of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Wands, Justice, the King of Swords, the Sun card here, and the Ten of Pentacles. Really nice reading, very lovely. Two major arcana, we've got Libra, Leo here. We've got Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We have Fire, oh, we've got all the elements. Well, I definitely feel like you have something really great happening with a relationship. It's fun and flirty, but there is love here. Okay, if it's a re if it's a reconciliation, like you haven't been talking to somebody, um, not only do I think they keep tabs on you, but I do feel like they're going to come around and they might do it with quite a bit of gusto. Okay, they might not pull any punches and try to hide what they're doing. You know, those that try to sneak in somehow and just find you somewhere. I feel like this person's going to be a lot more straightforward about it. Now, for others of you, in terms of a job, I do feel like there's somebody here getting a promotion or something in an advancement. It's all down here. This is really glorious energy for anything with career related stuff or any decisions that you're waiting on. Or if it's a court thing too. I mean, you've got a wonderful energy with the sun and the ten of pentacles. So the knight of wands, you're ready to go. I mean, this is an energy that moves forward. It's expansion. It's growth. Knights come in to get stuff done. So this is that initiator. In the Knight of Wands energy, stuff doesn't sit still. I mean, especially with that Four of Swords, I'd say meditate and get ready because there's going to be a big shift. Um, the Knight of Wands, it's really an energy, too, of the right use of your will. But it's fast. He brings a message and he brings in the, you know, the action, taking action and moving things forward. Again, too, in a relationship, this can be a very flirty energy, but he gets kind of confused with the uh, Knight of Cups in the on the YouTube tarot. It's really the Knight of Cups that you have to watch out for, for being um, unfaithful, because the Knight of Cups loves love. He It's not necessarily always the person. With this one, though, there's a lot of chemistry happening here. So that Four of Swords, we say it's asking it is given, right? Knocking the door will open. Meditate, quiet your mind, get back to center. The Fours are about order, okay? They're about getting into this place of stability. They're like the four legs of a table. So if you've had conflict with somebody, I see you not have talking to this person in a long time, but I do feel like they're going to, you're going to mend fences with somebody here if it's not a love relationship, because you do have love here. If it's something else in your life, though, I do feel like there's a decision that moves things forward with this. Um, but this is, again, it's a, it's a conflict-free energy. So it's not, you know, there's not something here that's going to introduce new conflict. We like that. Well, the Queen of Cups, you've got a very intuitive energy here. Now, also, even though you're an air sign, you know, you're the air sign that's probably the closest to water. So there could be a bit of a crossover here. The Queen of Cups, Queens and Kings are masters of the suit. So the Queen of Cups brings in depth and love. It's real love. I mean, she really does love with her whole heart. This one loves big, um, but she's intuitive. So I feel like part of that is your ability to read people's energy, feel people's energy, and trust yourself, though, with it. That's the biggest part because we oftentimes say, damn it, I knew that was going to happen. Don't do that. Be in this and go, I know that's going to happen. I'm going to 
I'm going to use that information. I'm going to make a decision that makes things happen in my favor. So with the Queen of Cups in terms of love, though, it is a very, um, there's just a richness. I think I said that just a minute ago, but that's the best way to describe it. It's She's a great confidant, too. And so in a relationship, it's where you can be very transparent. You can be yourself. You can talk about feelings. I mean, that's the worst thing that I hear when people say, well, I know if I tell them my feelings, they'll run. Not the right relationship then. With this one, they, they come towards you. They hear your feelings and they come. There's like this, I mean, I feel like an embrace when I say that. It's like this holding each other physically, but it's wonderful. So I do feel like that brings in, it just brings in that element of security into the reading. So the Ten of Wands is here. Something I feel like you have been waiting on with that Justice card, King of Swords, it is happening. So with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you're going to be able to put down those heavy freaking wands, okay? This is a burden that you've been carrying for a while, but the energy is about to shift. And it's also something, though, too, that may have given you a bit more belief in yourself, this ability to just push forward, just keep it going until you know, until you get there. Because the wands don't give up. Wands are upwardly mobile in the tarot. So they work hard, but they expand. It's not effort wasted. Nothing is wasted in God's economy, as we say. Or in this case, the universe's economy is also okay. The tens are about a realization. So you're going to be full of power here. I feel like whatever this is, when this, you know, and maybe you've already gotten it, and it could be too a decision that's already made, but I do feel like it's a big relief. It's a burden off of your shoulders, especially too if it's something like the sale of a house because you do have houses back here. Like if somebody's had two mortgages and something didn't go through as planned and you've kind of been hanging out there, I get that somehow here. So with the Justice card, this is such a cause and effect kind of energy, but this is the universe coming in and making things right. You know, we all get exactly what we deserve eventually, right? And in this case, though, it's in your favor, Aquarius. It's wonderful. Upright swords are very good indications in the tarot. Though this is also to the pillars here represent knowledge and wisdom. So you've learned and grown. I also feel like whoever you're attracting, maybe they're in the legal system or they do something with, you know, rules and setting forth rules and structure. There's something about that that's important here. But with the justice card too, it's the absolute truth. So there's nothing hidden. There's no second guessing. There's no lying. There's no deception. You don't have it anywhere in the reading. So those of you too that have had something erroneous in the past, I do feel like this sets the record straight. It brings in that balance. And, you know, again, like I said, it can be a judgment, but I do feel like it's telling you it's in your favor. So the King of Swords, also a card of communication, it's very clear, straightforward communication, though. So the delivery is right to the chase. There's no, you know, back and forth kinds of things. It's delivered in a very straightforward way. So the swords are about courage. They seek the truth. And again, with this one, it brings in mental clarity. But the swords were also nobility in the tarot. So I mentioned before, somebody here, you may be getting a promotion, something that brings in more money. He's, you know, he's the king of communication, but he's also regal. There's a regalness about him. So I do feel like if it's related to justice too, or something that you've been waiting for the universe to handle something, it almost gives you this feeling of, inflation is not quite the right word, but like a satisfaction with it. Like, you know what? I know this is all real. I'm a believer in this. And it shows right here. It's like it shows up in your life. Well, so we like to see this together. I mean, when we look at this, the Queen of Cups would be pretty here too. But you've got something that's definitely moving forward, Aquarius, and it brings you gains, riches, and absolute true joy. So the Sun is probably one of the cards that when you see this in a reading, allow it to illuminate your energy. You know, this is the kind of card, if you ever do a vision board with tarot cards, and you can print them off the internet, you don't need the actual cards. This is the kind of card you want on that vision board. It really is high vibrational, high frequency. 
the the androgynous child here waves that banner of victory. So there are only a few symbols of victory in the tarot. And this is one of the big ones, that huge banner. They're telling you this is where your achievement happens. It's a new energy here. And it brings in this energy of regeneration, okay? The sun is unconditional. Everything, you know, the sun shines on everything. So you also have, too, in terms of um, these sunflowers in the back, a commitment coming in. The sun shines on the flowers and they look at the sun, but when the sun goes down, they turn towards each other because they're always connected energetically. This is a card too of synergy. So you're going to be attracting the right people into your life for whatever it is that you're trying to do. Again, I keep getting a decision made and part of that's the celebration and victory of that but it's also attracting high vibrational people. So you're attracting people who are a match and the ones who aren't, you're going to know it right away in this. It's the kind of energy where you won't dabble with projects and trying to pull people into what you think they could be. And, and that's not harsh. Okay. It's okay to let people go who just aren't a match. So the 10 of pentacles talk about spectacular right next to the sun, the Ten of Pentacles is dominion. It's absolute perfection and brilliance. It's the wealth card of the tarot. It's also a card, too, where you leave a legacy. So it's not a you know short-term, I won $100 on a lottery ticket, which is nice, and maybe you'll do that. But it's long-term gains, and it's for everyone around you. It's a wonderfully harmonious energy where you're getting along well with people at work. You're in a relationship where people around you it's synchronized. You've got that synergy coming in. So it's like everything kind of fits and flows together. You're in flow in this energy. And it's also a card of appreciation too. So when we get this, we want to start appreciating what seems to be the small stuff. But look around you and look at every single thing you've attracted. You have attracted positive things. And even if you have a, let's say you have a closet where you open th the closet and things fall out at you, Guess what? That's gains and riches that you've attracted. It's all a matter of perspective here, Aquarius. All right, let's see what the angels have to say for Aquarius, please. All right, what else does Aquarius need to know? Messages for Aquarius. Okay, we've got here, no need to worry, I'd agree. They say, if you believe, ask, believe, receive, and big happy changes. I haven't seen that in quite a while. We've got here within the next few weeks, so good things are coming forward, and you've got a yes, all right? I love you, Aquarius, and I'll be back again soon.